Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and we've got a lot of news and updates from London to get through. But this first episode has got to be about the murder in Brent on Preston Road on Thursday the 18th of February. A 16 year old boy was chased down and brutally murdered on the high street. And he has been named as Dracon, also from the Wembley area in Brent. Detectives initially said there was called to the scene of a stabbing and people had tried to save the life of this young boy. But before we talk about the initial statement, we definitely need to highlight the fact that CCTV footage has emerged online of the brutal murder. So this wouldn't have gone through police lines and gone through the normal procedure. And it shows the brutal murder of this young boy. And this definitely raises the question as we covered recently, as police are currently under investigation for releasing footage of a murder without the family's permission already. And this, and so this footage could only have been taken from the person that was operating the CCTV. And somehow that has managed to get online, which would cause massive upset to the family and also the friends of the victim. We will never show people in this sort of situation, so we will not be showing the footage but we can definitely explain what happened the video footage shows the moment walking down the street and a car appears to try to run him over he then seen running down the high street and four males jump out of a car and he seems to fall over and it is at this point that four people begin to stab him He's stabbed a minimum of four times and then they make their getaway in the car that they came in. Left to lie on the street and there is absolutely nobody around. Cars drive past and do not help him. Of course, they don't know why he's there. In high streets up and down the country, there could sometimes be a drunk person or somebody on drugs who doesn't necessarily need medical attention. But it took 2 minutes and 46 seconds before somebody came to help him. And the police arrived in 5 minutes as well. I'm not sure exactly when the ambulance did arrive. So we'll read the police statement now to find out any of them details. Police said they have launched a murder investigation after a teenage boy was murdered in Brent. They are appealing for a van driver who stopped briefly near the area to come forward as a potential vital witness. Police were called to a boy with stab injuries in Preston Road, Brent after... 11.30 on Thursday. The victim was identified as 16-year-old Dracon Patterson from the Wembley area. He was treated at the scene and taken to hospital and despite the best efforts of emergency services, he died shortly after 9 in the morning on Friday the 19th of February. Specialist officers are supporting his family and a post-mortem examination will be held in due course. Homicide detectives from the Specialist Crime Unit are investigating. And Detective Chief Inspector Richard Leonard said, We have been working to establish what happened to Drequan and what happened on Friday night and to find the people responsible. Our investigation will include forensic analysis, investigative search for relevant CCTV, which has turned up very quickly on social media. And these are other lines of inquiry that are continuing. And I can assure the local community of our total commitment to bring those responsible to justice. We have been well supported by the public around Preston Road and further afield. And they are appealing for even more help today. They said the car that was involved in the incident was a black Ford Mondeo, an old one of 54 Reg, and it had the registration plate and CCTV seen them driving from the scene and they burnt out the car in Silver Jubilee Park in Northwest Nine on Friday the 19th of Feb. They believe the car was used in the initial attempt to injure Dracon in a collision in Preston Road after the Mondeo was driven at him, chased down by four suspects who got out the car before he was fatally stabbed. They are trying to establish the use of the Mondeo in the days leading up to the murder and they are appealing for anybody who's seen anything to get in touch. And that is very similar to a story that we covered back in 2018 of Jaden when he was stabbed to death where people jumped out and ran him over in a car as well. There has been no arrests at this current stage. So I send my condolences to the family of Dracon and also his friends as well. And we definitely keep you updated with anything to do with that story. And thank you to our reporter Dave Nathan for going down to the scene and, and helping to document this story. In another breaking news story coming from Tottenham, police were called on the 22nd of February to reports of a 21-year-old man that had been stabbed on West Green Road, North London. Officers and ambulance attended, but despite their best efforts, he died at the scene. Formal identification had not taken place, but he's been named as Ty Watson. 
His next of kin have been informed and supported and post-mortem examination will take place on Wednesday. A crime scene remains in place on West Green Road and local residents have seen a high increase in police presence. There has been no arrest also in that murder and inquiries into the circumstances are ongoing by homicide detectives. Detective Chief Inspector Linda Bradley said, This is a fast-paced investigation and my team of detectives are determined to locate what happened and why he died. And this was on Turnpike Lane and the scene of many stabbings and shootings in the past year. So rest in peace to Ty and we'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story. And in a breaking news story from yesterday on the 23rd of February, there was reports of a stabbing on Henry Road in Brixton. They found a male believed to be 16 years old suffering a stab injury and he's currently fighting for his life in hospital. A section 60 has been authorised in Brixton, Camberwell New Road, Denmark Hill, Cold Harbour Lane and surrounding areas. It will expire on Wednesday the 24th of February. So I send my condolences to the victim in that murder. In an update from a murder in Haringey last week, a 15-year-old has been charged with the murder of taxi driver Gabriel Brigney in Haringey. He was arrested on Monday the 22nd of February and taken to custody in northwest London. He was charged the following day following the brutal attack on Jarrow Road at 7.21. On 17th of February, after concerns were raised of an injured man, police found him unresponsive in his taxi at the location. Gabriel was 37 years old and a father from the local area and despite the best efforts of the emergency services, he died at 8pm. And this seems that it could have been as simple as an argument that was broken out between a taxi driver. And in another story that our reporter Dave Nathan went to in the Ealing area, detectives investigating a murder that occurred on Monday, February the 22nd, have already charged a man with her death. Curtis Brown, 48, appeared at Uxbridge Magistrates Court on February the 24th. Police were called at 3.45 on Monday, February the 22nd to reports of an unresponsive woman at a residential property. A 48-year-old woman was pronounced dead at the scene and formal identification is yet to take place so that murder literally happened and was solved in a matter of hours and this is why i always tell people that don't think all these crimes go unsolved exactly the same as the pecker murder in the murder of lavon witter that we covered two men have been charged in his fatal stabbing tyrese riggan and julian russell have been charged on the 19th of feb with wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm of the 16 year old and there was also charged with possession of a bladed article Police were called to a residential street in Wisbeach Road in South East London at approximately 10 past 8 on Friday. Officers attended and the ambulance tried to save the boy's life but he died shortly after. And after talking to his family and relatives we were able to learn that Lavorne had recently left mental health care. He was going through a lot of mental health issues and everybody we've spoken to said he was not directly involved in any issues or beef in the local area. So rest in peace to Lavorne and all of the victims that we've given updates on today. I really appreciate you joining me and please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news and don't forget to check out our previous uploads that YouTube will not promote due to the serious nature of the stories. So I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.